we're going to draw the Lewis structure of lithium hydride. Now, lithium is a metal. It's one of the alkali metals. Hydrogen is a non-metal, even though it's over here on the metal side. That's just for the organization of the table. Hydrogen is always a non-metal. And therefore, a metal plus a non-metal means that this is an ionic compound. I want you to always consider hydrides to be ionic. Now, lithium wants to lose an electron. In fact, because lithium is in the first column of the periodic table, it brings one valence electron with it. Now, hydrogen generally, almost always in your career, will want to lose its electron as well. It's also in the first row, so there it is. Uh, H+, plus, like getting rid of this electron, is usually the most common thing for hydrogen. But for lithium hydride, lithium is losing its electron and giving it to hydrogen. That means what you're left with is lithium with no electrons around it, a plus one charge because it lost one electron, and you have hydrogen, which now has a pair of electrons, and a minus one charge because it's one extra electron than it had brought with it. This is the complete Lewis structure for lithium hydride. What makes this a hydride is the fact that you have this H minus ion in the structure. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.